In this third lesson about deism, we will talk to a deist again and address him. Now we ask the deist, why did the creator you believe in, whom we call Allah, create this realm? Why were those ornamented birds, butterflies, flowers, trees, and other beings created? Do not say they were created without a purpose, for the owner of this realm has wisdom. Everything in this world has a duty. Everything has a purpose. Nothing is unnecessary. This proves that our Creator is wise. Then how can you say this realm was not created for any purpose? Since you do not know the purpose of creation, we will teach it to you. The purpose is as follows. Every owner of perfection and beauty wants to show his perfection and beauty. Due to this secret, Allah created this realm in order to show his perfection and beauty. Due to this secret, the beings were painted colorfully, created in different shapes and forms and equipped with wisdom. Our Creator wants to make Himself known. Since our Creator wants to make Himself known, He will send prophets and books. Otherwise, we cannot know Him. For instance, we call the Creator Allah. The prophets taught us that His name was Allah. Just think about it. If there were no prophets, we could not know even the name of our Creator. How can you accept that the being that created this realm and hence decorated all beings did not inform us about His name? How is it possible for the being that did so many things to make Himself known not to send prophets or books, which is the shortest way of making Himself known? If Allah wanted us to make only His existence known, He would not have decorated this world and things so much. We can know the existence of the Creator even with one flower. However, Allah did not find one flower enough. He made the earth a dinner table and the spring a bunch of roses for that table. It means He does not want only His existence to be known. He wants to be known with His names and attributes as well. This can be possible only through sending prophets, that is, through the messengers of Allah Himself. If it were not for His messengers, we could not know Him. We would even know Him wrong. For instance, if we ask you, does the Creator that you believe sleep? Does He eat? Does he drink? Does he have a spouse and children? Do you not need prophets that receive revelation and books in which Allah makes himself known in order to give the answer no to those questions? How can you answer those questions with your weak mind? To sum up, Allah created this realm so that we will know him he decorated the beings and wanted us to think about the names and attributes that were manifest on them. For the realization of it, prophets and books have to be sent. For even a man can find a creator with his mind. He cannot understand him with his names and attributes. He usually makes mistakes. The people who worship fire, cows, stars and other things are our evidences. If a prophet is not sent, a person goes astray and thinks that the cow is his Lord. The being that created this realm will not allow us to make that mistake and will send us the prophets that will make us know him correctly and did send them. Denying this is absolutely impossible. <laughs>